my name is Dina Hiramoda, and we're going to talk about Kirko No Basket Season 3, Episode 1. So we kind of get a review from what happened in Season 2, and we see that Kuroko blocks uh, Muri Sakibata's shot, and we get to see Kagami's Meteor Jam, which is pretty awesome. And then they go and get a review with the Basketball Monthly magazine, which I, 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 I don't know why they did that, but it's pretty cool anyways. And then also we get to see uh, <clears throat> kind of review, like I said before, of some of their matches, like with uh, Shuntoko when they tied the game. They're definitely, there's definitely going to be a rematch. I haven't seen or read the manga, so I'm guessing there's going to be a rematch. Then there was the one with Toho Academy, where it kind of did a flashback of um, Kagami and Aumine in the zone when they were uh, facing each other in that one game, and they barely won. And then we get to see the Dai Daisaki Ichi game. I, I don't, I think that's how you say it. And that's where like uh, <coughs> Tepe kind of got his knees hurt and things like that. We go later into the episode, and we get to see Kisei of the Generation of Miracles, and he's shocked to see someone who's playing the game, and who's on the other team he's about to face. And we get to see Kuroko say, you better make it to the semifinals. Kuroko knows what's up right now. He is ready to take on Kisei. Even though they won last time, I think it was a bit of a sham, because Kisei didn't come into the game till a little bit later. Not much. It was just like after Kagami broke the hoop. Uh, broke the hoop in the game, and I mean that those two points cost uh, <clears throat> Kisei's team the game. So we find out later that the guy Kisei was shocked about was Hayazaki, and he was the former starter of the Taiko Middle School basketball team before Kisei joined, because Kisei joined the second year of middle school, so he was the starter before him. And Hayazaki was forced to quit because Akashi told him. With all his violence, he can't play anymore. But when he Hayazaki found out that these Generation of Miracles were playing and he didn't get that title, I think he's just doing it a bit for revenge, even though he doesn't care. And he looks like one scary motherfucker. Because he beat up Tatsuya really fast, and he got Alex. And, like, you don't beat up a girl. And, like, he was trying to hit on her, and it's kind of like the bad boy kind of... You know, stereotypical thing. And then Kagami comes in. We see Kagami. And he's really trying to, like, come back with Tatsuya. Become, like, friends again. Like, their brotherly relationship. Kagami wanted to make amends with Tatsuya. But he couldn't because Hayazaki was beating the crap out of Alex. And Tatsuya was getting be beaten the crap out of himself. And if Kagami got into a fight with another player, then he'd be disqualified for the from the tournament, and it might disqualify Saring too. And he can't risk that. I mean, this might be their only shot to become the best team in Japan this year. And I think that's how the manga's gonna end. The manga's gonna end after the Winter Cup. I'm not sure, though. And I think Kisei is going to lose to Hayazaki, but I'm not sure how. One last note. We saw some of the Generation of Miracles kind of shocked that he was playing. We saw like Aumine shocked and Midorima shocked that Hayazaki is back. And he must be some really scary player. And I mean, he's probably like Daisaki Ichi. I think that's how you say it. The one team that beat the crap out of Tepe. And he's going to be like that, but somehow in a worse way and cheat on his own. Or maybe he's going to have like some vicious style of basketball. And uh, that's it for this one. Uh, my name is Daniel Hatermoda. Peace out.